Okay, we have a power problem. A problem with two parts. And it's going to be the first part. Earlier, you're giving, the, we have a 20, a 20 kVA load and it's lagging power factor of 0 0.8 and supplied by 277 volts AC three phase. Oh, sorry. The first part asks you to find the real power delivered to the load. Looking at the book, the reference manual, here's the power section on page 199. AC power. We have real power is defined as watts, defined by one half the max voltage times the max current times the cosine times the angle. And the power factor is equal to cosine times the angle. We don't have current, but we have voltage. Looking at the reactive power, it's in VARS. And that's defined by one half max voltage max times max power times sine angle. And the complex power is volts amperes is defined by S equals V times uh, I conjugate equals P plus JQ. And they give you a complex triangle here. So we had we're given again we're giving we're given twenty kVA. So we have S and we have power factor. Well given power factor we can solve for the angle. So basically you just have a right angle triangle and we want to solve for the real part which is this the x axis. So given that we have twenty Let's draw the triangle. Okay, we have 20 kVA and a power factor of 0 0.8. The power factor is equal to cosine angle. So 0 0.8 equals cosine angle. Solving for the angle, we have cos negative 1, 0 0.8. And that is going to be, I've got to look up my calculator. 0 0.8 cosine the angle is going to be 37 degrees so now that we have the angle we have 20 kVA and an angle of 37 degrees and again we want to find the power powers and that's the x-axis so to find the x-axis basically you take the hypotenuse cosine angle and that's your x-axis but I guess we really didn't need to solve for the angle because the cosine angle is equal to 0 0.8 so basically to get the power, I guess that would be P not X, 20 times 0 0.8. 20 times 0 0.8, and the power would be 16, this is KVA, so that would be kilowatts. Okay, the second part. Of course.